Of course, Northampton now a little bit adrift, more more than a win adrift of uh, of next to bottom. There's all sorts of speculation about the manager uh, Wilder being linked uh, uh, during today. Since the schedule game on New Year's Day, they've they've got four new players in, two have gone out. Much changed uh, situation at Northampton, isn't it? I think you know I, I am a manager. I don't generally speak about other teams and other clubs. I find it that managers have got too much to say. Yeah, managers speak about budgets of other teams and different stuff and I find it to be very disrespectful personally. I don't think you should comment too much. I think you should always sort your own house out. Mm. Certainly Northampton in a period of transition mm. and obviously the chairman of the club and the board put a lot of money in and that's their decision what transition to go. At the minute we're going to face Andy's team tomorrow as we stand today. Mm. He'll be prepared and like his life depends on it because he's done a smashing job since he's come in. You know, the victory that they got down at Newport. There's not many teams gone to Newport and won. That shows a collective team spirit, collective willingness to work. Shows you what you can do on the day. You know, certainly the point at Portsmouth, I think it was, is another massive point. So we're preparing for a very difficult game. I can't influence what Northampton do. It's been obviously a very difficult position Andy's put in. Because obviously when you, you, you're mm. clamouring to get the job, there'll always be speculation about yeah. other managers and no one can stop that. But I think people should respect it's a very difficult time for Northampton. It'll be a very difficult time for Andy and the rest of the club. You know, we must go down and be a very professional club tomorrow and do a professional job. That's all we can do in the game.